machine back just to have a little bit of breathing room. Uh, before you got here, I found a drill with a bit that's just a little bit smaller than the wood screw I'm going to use just to create a pilot hole and make it easier for insertion. Our spoil board has been squared, so I with confidence can lay this board right on the edge of this spoil board as a guide. So now that our, our part is secure and, and held to the table, again remember I used wood screws, your project may be completely different. If you're doing some kind of an outside cut, you may not use this method because you don't want to hit the bolt head. Uh, you may, in that case, use hot glue. There's even vacuum tables. But in this case, I, I have it bolted down, and now it's time to zero the part. And to do that, I have to go back to my jog window. We hit the magic K button, and I'm going to bring the machine towards me. My goal is to take the tip of that tool and get it as close as I can to that front right corner. And drop my Z down a little bit. There's no hurry in doing this. Take your time and, and get it right. So that I don't want to hit the part, but I'm about a quarter inch above and I can eye it pretty well. So over here on the program, as so I'm looking, we're going to enter in the program the location that this is the Y direction, so our Y is right on that edge. I got lucky. There is, you would nudge it back and forth, but right now if you were to draw a center line, it's right on that edge, so I got lucky on that one. I come over here to zero, and I say zero Y axis. Now we're going to bring it forward in the X, just a little bit. I'm gonna look down my part, and I'm getting lucky today, that's, that's right on where I need it to be. Now I am eyeing it, and you may say, what if I need it to be exact? There are zeroing tools that you can use to get very, very, very accurate, but remember, working in wood is not like with metal, aluminum, steel, where it's perfect. Wood is a little bit more of a forgiving environment, but uh, I'm eyeing it, and it, it's right on my X, so I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna say, there's a menu that says zero x-axis. My x and y have now been zeroed. Only thing left now is the height of my z. And the way I do that is I'm going to come over and we're going to touch the top of our part using what's called a zeroing plate. Okay, so my jog window again is up. I'm going to move the machine back. I'm moving it to the center of my part using the jog. In this case, I want to bring the z up. We're going to use what's called a zeroing plate where it touches and creates a connectivity to let the machine know that the part is at the top of the machine. And that's this guy. This is a zeroing plate. We put the plate underneath the tool and this is a clamp to go around the end mill. So it's really very simple. When the tool touches the aluminum, it can see the connectivity and it knows that it's one eighth of an inch above the part and it handles the rest. So we're all hooked up. I come over to my computer. Under what's called cuts, you're going to say zero Z axis with plate, one of the selections. It's saying is the Z plate ready? Yes. And there it goes. It's going to go down until it touches. That's always a scary part. You think it's going to hit and break. But as long as you have it hooked up like this, you'll be fine. It's going to touch one more time as a backup. And voila, X, Y, and Z are zeroed, and it matches our program, which is very important. We're now going to put the plate away. Set up to the plate. And we're ready to cut some letters. Okay, so before you cut, there are two very important steps that if you do not do, you're either going to break the tool or make a mess. And that is, number one, turn on the key. This gives power to the router. In other words, the tool spinning. If you do not do that, and I've seen it done many times, you're going to come over and drive the tool into your material and break it. So turn on the key. And the other one is, turn on the dust collector. Without this, dust goes everywhere. We're ready to go. Let's rock and roll. I uh, opened 
the Shabbat program, I loaded in my code. turned off the dust collector, turned off the key. Again, two important steps, especially the key. That's a safety uh, aspect of the machine. We are done. I need to back the machine up. You know how to do that by now. Okay, we jog it back. Take our drill, reverse it, back up. cheap wood so we got a little bit of lost a little bit of the island on the a that's what you get this is like that what about a dollar <laughs> dollar something for the two by four but still nice job could never make this by hand Dying.